How you doing? Terrible angle, but this is as tall as the thing goes. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm just going to try a cooking stream and test out the fire and see how it goes on stream labs and elements and shit. But yeah, we'll just rock it, see how we go. I'm doing a slow cooked beef stew. Uh, yeah. So I'll just start with uh, probably cutting the vegetables and stuff and setting up the slow cooker. I'm just going to start by turning it on. It is a new one, so... Probably won't be able to see the results because I'm not going to be streaming for like six to eight hours, but yeah. Uh, let's start getting the ingredients. So we've got some baby capers. Some hot sauce. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it does autofocus, that's good. I mean, this is just a test stream to see if I can even stream from my phone, because I do want to set up some IRL stuff in the future, but I'll just look back on this and see the results. Alrighty. We've got some asparagus. It will chop finely. The main meat we're going to be using is some beef eye round roast, marinated in onion and garlic red wine flavours. And we got two of them bad boys. Thanks to work, they gave us a gift card, so I got a hundred dollars worth of shopping. I'm also going to chuck some garlic. All right, what else did we get? I'm going to chuck some spinach in there. Put some passata in there as well, just to give it a bit of, you know, a bit of a, a bit of, a bit of thickness as well. All right. We're also going to be adding some red bean, red kidney beans, good for the kidneys, I guess, or the liver. Some mushrooms, let that focus for you. Some Italian diced tomatoes. Some beef broth or Maggie beer. I'm in Australia, so most of these ingredients you'll get from Woolworths in Australia. Um, I've actually had this before, but that should be the main broth for it. You can use whatever you like. Um, from the same company, some Australian red wine finishing sauce. I was going to get some actual red wine, but then I'll just end up drinking it, so <laughs> we're going to go with red wine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think for more flavor wise, we'll add some. Just a dash of soy sauce for uh, saltiness. Secret ingredient, 
a little tiny bit of Vegemite. Sounds weird, I know, but mixing this in the large broth will give it a nice hearty taste to it, and it's a good source of B1, B2, B3. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight to it. So first I'm probably going to start by cutting up the asparagus. Um, if you ever, sometimes if you break down on the road and you need to um, change a tire, it's always good to have asparagus, just in case. Lighting is terrible, I know, but that's, that's part of it. This knife is terrible, so I'm going to take one bit of chop and prepare stuff from the normally wood. Chop this out. Fun fact about asparagus, it's actually from the asparagi family, which includes agave and um, aloe vera. Now I'm going to see if I can get a better, better view, because I don't know, it's kind of silly not being in the shot of my own stream. Ah yes, this is about all the ingredients. Not much, but it's something. No idea how this angle is going to work, but we'll work it out. Not sure if you can hear the lo-fi in the back, but... It's hopefully adding a vibe to it. Get me and then chopping into some test. Alright, right, cool. We'll put that down a bit. I've no idea if there's any audio, I really hope there is. Also, hey Jay Wild, welcome to the thing. Jay Cole? No. Just, uh. No hot coals in this meal. Nice and slow cooked. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're having a good night. Sorry if I missed your thing. I'm, I don't have a view of the actual chat room at the moment. So I'm just gonna start cutting these up. And, uh, small, small little slices. These will get nice and soft and hopefully break up a little bit. Chuck it in, so I'm just going to use this bowl for the ingredients. Now, I'm in no way a professional chef, so obviously this will be done wrong. I will be going out of camera to check the chat every once in a while, so I do apologise if it takes a while to reply. This is my first time doing a phone stream, so it is what it is. Okay, go about that much spinach. Now, I'm not following a recipe or anything, I'm just going with the flow on this. Yeah. 
nothing in particular. It's a little trick with spinach and lettuce and stuff is you grab it all into a pile. And then chop that. Makes it a little bit easier. So I kind of want this just lightly chopped, so I'm just gonna stems in there, that's all nutrients. So usually if I wasn't slow cooking this, what I would do is I'd fry it up a little bit, just to cook the ingredients all into a good nice little, just a light braise. Right, we're going to start with This one, it's already got a marinade on it, but that's kind of matching what we're going for. Kind of like a red wine, garlic, beef marinade. This knife is just absolute trash. So I'm going to go for chunky bits in this because we want it to stew nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a terrible knife, cut it into bullet slices like this. Honestly, I'm going to be better off using another knife, but this is how we do. I only just moved into this place, so I don't have much kitchen stuff. Some nice thick bits like this. It's okay to leave this fat in here, that's what we want inside the actual... Sorry to any vegans that decide to drop in, this is unfortunately not a vegan meal. Quite a lot of meat here, I'm thinking I might not even need to do the second one. We'll see how we go. And uh, this is actually a baking tray that I'm using as a um, as a chopping board because I don't have an actual chopping board. I did not prepare for this stream whatsoever. This is a test stream, so in the future it will look a lot better. Hopefully, I don't cut my finger off on stream so that I can get burned. This one I'm just going to chuck into the actual chunk sizes we want. So I'm going for like nice thick bits like that. And this isn't blood, this is marinade. I'm 
gonna go with the grain again along along the grain in this just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so we're just already. easy this is going to be so okay start putting this into there it's all going to mix up into this anyway so we'll be adding water and stuff It's definitely no NMPL stream, but you know, we do what we can and we don't have as many viewers or money coming in, we just do what we can. Some angles it cuts really nice, sometimes it doesn't. Seconds, grab this marinade, chuck it in there. It's all going to be like mixed into a liquid, so it should disperse quite nicely. Chef, from what I remember, I told me that ages ago. Alright, I'm just gonna dry my hands, do a quick shout out to Andre. Be back in two seconds. Yeah, it's my first attempt at like using my phone, man, so <laughs> that's why it looks so jank. Yeah, it seems to be, because I'm using the Pixel 8, so it seems to be good quality. It's just, I don't have a kitchen for a, for, a, for a cooking stream. I'd have to get like a separate table and then put it here and stuff. Like it's, it's not much, it's just like a one bedroom cheap apartment, so. It ain't much, but it's something. Alright, I'm just going to see how much that is compared to the slow cooker. I reckon we can fit one more in there. technically dox myself with a barcode but 
Probably not worth the risk. Can you hear that lo-fi music in the background as well? Is that working? Cheers for the band, dude. Thank you. Doing God's work. Okay, let's we'll marinate a bit of here. This is a thick boy. I have to go with the grain on this one. Just to make it a bit easier. This knife is technically a hammer, that's how dull it is. But grab it by the rope! So yeah, I don't know how long this stream will go, but it's gonna just be a basic cooking one. I think I'm just gonna cut this one way is using the thing. I'm gonna cut them. God, even a bread knife would be better than this. Honestly, I prefer using a bread knife when I cut meat. It just feels easier. It's not like I'm chopping it. This does look a little bit old as well, but it is what it is. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's a stew. Yeah, I guess this is kind of like a Mexican style stew. It doesn't really have a theme or a recipe, it's just a bunch of stuff chucked in together. Cheap Woolies, cheap stuff from Woolworths. For the Americans out there, Woolworths is like the local shopping market in Australia. Kind of looks like a nice brisket, but I don't think it's the um, correct part of the cow. Very dark meat though, I think the marinade's really stained it. It's just been aged for quite a little bit in the, uh, in the thing. Yeah, man, I need a better knife. Slice. I'm sure all the chefs watching right now are like, what is he doing? No. I want to keep this fat on if it's slow cook. So I'll just come straight through the middle of that. Make this knife will let me. Jesus, okay, I'll just cut chunks off of this thing. Get some nice thick bits off this one. Leave the fat on because that's the good shit. And the sliding, the fatter, the more fat on the meat, the less you have to add add water if you are doing just like a roast bite like a slow cook roast by itself more fat equals more more of a wet roast so I'm just going to cut that get a fat off and chuck it in with it and then that should give some nice juicy bits okay just going to pile it up and it sticks together Play the bench anyway, so it should be nice and nice and clean. I like how it like cuts really easily this way on the small stuff. I guess I got a better grip on it, so I 
can see where the grain of the meat is, which is easier to cut through too. Good for some Asian style dishes for those making them. I'm going to cut myself there, that would have been bad. After this piece, I'll check the chat. I'm sorry, it's not a very interactive stream. There's a test stream. Next time I'll have a proper thing set up. Cheers again for that band, man. Yeah, I've stopped being as nice to people when they try to advertise on the stream now because I realise that they obviously just don't give a shit. Like the other night when I did a PUBG stream, it was literally like. Because some of them, they, like, the audacity, they come into the stream and they're like, Hi! I, like, one of them said, I noticed the stream isn't looking very good or something like that. And they were within those lines and they were saying, like, they're trying to get me to, like, become their customer by saying that my stuff looks shit. <laughs> it's like, whoa, hang on a minute. I did my own designs. I don't have anything set up on my phone, so you can't see it, but everything on my stream is done by me using Photoshop and a mix of digital art programs and AI, like it's all, all a big hybrid, hybrid thing that I've been working on for almost a year now. Once I finish stream, I'll be cooking something else and probably posting the picture of the thing on Twitter, which I'll post in the comments soon if anyone wants to see the result. Now, I, I mean, I could turn this into an actual like video on my YouTube as well, I guess. I'll keep those bits nice and thick. Alright. That should be enough. Just wash the hands. Get a little meat on anything. Alrighty, so we're gonna need a couple cups of. Thirsty. Whew, it's too warm today. Sorry for the ads, peeps. I think because you're a mod, you don't get ads. Is that correct? I hope, I hope you don't get ads. from the bottle. Alright, it's fairly warm, so I'll probably add about this much water. Just to start. Just to get the base down so nothing sticks. do is I'll add the broth first, so the whole of the broth. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I'll make a bucket of a view of that. I will not be doing it under this, this is actually a hot water system. That thing like turns on every time I do the hot water. Alright, so let's move this over. Let's bring this out to about here. Let's get a better angle without 
protruding on the actual thing. Okay. So that water shouldn't be hot. Oh wow, it's hot already. Okay. Interesting. That's fine. So I'm going to add the broth. The Maggie broth. Probably all of it, to be honest, because there's not much else I'm going to be using it for. Some oily, oily goodness to it, so there's not much stickiness. It's going to be a pretty full one this time, as it might be. It's got the veggies, so I'll chuck them on top like that. The asparagus. Mix. So I want to get the water in between everything before I chuck all the flavour in, so that way it's um, yeah, nice and good. That way everything can cook between itself. The good thing with cooking is you got to get your hands dirty sometimes, because that's the best way to get a good meal. You know, you can break a few eggs to make an omelette. So I'm mix this up. We'll add some more liquid soon, just to bring it to the top. Let's mix it up a bit more. Get that marinade mixed through. Remember to wash your hands before you do this, obviously. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... can of the champignon mushrooms. I'm going to keep the liquid because that's what we want really with the stew. So I'll be mixing after every ingredient just so that everything kind of stays at a good, a good mix overall so the flavour of everything becomes the integral part of everything next to it. It would be cool if I could do a time lapse, but what I'll do is I'll film it once it's finished. So I might do this for like a like like eight to sixteen hours on low, like a nice low cook. Hoping that the ingredients. I mean, I've got enough to just keep it from going over the top. I might use half of the tomatoes. That's already quite a lot of liquid, so we've got the diced tomatoes. Which I'll just lightly spread through. It's a very hearty stew, this one. You know what, the yeah, it's going to help me. And then I'll just leave out the passata, because I think this will this will be enough tomato. careful when you do this, you've got to do it quick otherwise, because it will get very hot very thick. Especially with the new ones, these things can get quite a lot of mass hot pretty fast. Okay, and spread it out. Okay, didn't know this was going to be that gross of a stream, but it is what it is. Another thing you need to remember is you want a lot of space because it is going to rise a little bit with the meat thickening and all the liquids and stuff. So the heat will rise it. Uh, I'll add the red kidney beans. And uh, lots of liquids in this. Mm, it's quite a lot of liquid. I think I might pour some of this out. I'll pour some of it in there. Actually, nah, let's just go for it. Red kidney beans. I think I've actually got way too much, too much in here to be honest, but I'll probably 
tree is quite a lot of this. So the more you put in, the more you're going to carefully stir it because it is going to become quite close to the edge. Down, bring it up. It's quite therapeutic in a way if you're not grossed out by this kind of thing. I find it quite therapeutic. It's just like putting effort into a meal. So it's like a $150 shot. And some of this was included in that. And went down to Woolies, chucked it all in like a bag, carried it home. It's basically my exercise. So I will have to mix this. I've got a good spoon that I can use. I'm going to be mixing it with my hands, obviously, when I do the thing. Alright, I'm going to add some capers. Gonna open the damn thing. Just get the excess off my hands. All my hands are clean, I'll check the chat. Get these open. <clears throat> so we're checking some capers in now, and they'll add up quite a bit of acidity acidity, like tomatoes are acidic. Um, but not it's kind of a different kind of acidity, so like these are sli I would say these are slightly pickled in a sense. Now I don't think we need I like the liquid of the capers, we're gonna keep that. We're only gonna add the liquid and what about that much capers? That's a stew. I might have to um It's still too high a liquid count. I might have to, um, what's the word for it? Um, reduce it a little bit by leaving the lid off once it starts getting hot. But this is good because everything's going to be nice and submerged. Get all that nice rich flavour put in through it. Um, and then all that's left is the red wine. Finishing. So I'm going to chop the rest of this garlic in. There's only a bit left. In the future, we'll have a lot better strings set up for this, but for now. Just to test the quality of everything and see how it goes. So while the garlic's just sitting there, I'm going to also chuck in a bit of spice. Yep. Now I'm the only one eating this, so it's okay for me to get a bit of stuff on my hands. But obviously if you're doing this, you don't want to use your mouth. Oh, nearly got it in my, in my eye. This is a bit of habanero, so I'm only going to add a little tiny couple of drops of this in here. Maybe that much, that's all we need. And then I'm just going to mix that across the top so the garlic dissipates into the liquid a little bit, as well as the sauce mixes around, and then I'm going to mix it like this. So we're pretty much at our limit of liquid here, so we'll see how it go. Strain a bit of it. Because the stuff at the bottom is going to cook a lot faster than the stuff at the top. Even though it's a slow cooker, it's not a pressure cooker, so it still will be uneven. You still have to stir. Okay, so that's everything pretty much done. I'm not going to put in the passata because there's way too much tomato in it already. And then we've got the finishing sauce, which should just bring it up to the brim. And then hopefully not go too far. Let's see how that goes. It's quite thick as well, so that's good. Nice, I think that's the perfect amount. Just had to do it by eye. So this, you, you can add red wine as well. I suggest like a Merlot or a Cab 
salve. Because you want like the thicker on the thicker ends, not so much watered down wines, but it's also a taste of preference for yourself as well. Obviously white wine would be terrible in this, unless you're going for like a maybe like a potato-y stew, if there's potato or something in here, and maybe a fish meat or something like that. Better, but this is a hearty red stew with beef, so we want the red wine. Okay, so that's all submerged. Once these asparagus get heated up, they'll start to sink. full avocado, now I'm just kidding. Ah. Alright, let's get a close in shot. Um, yeah. So it's looking quite vibrant on camera at the moment. It's not very good light though. Yep, so ingredients were red wine finishing sauce, natural bone broth, red kidney beans, champignon slices of mushroom, some diced tomato, some capers, some habanero sauce, garlic, and probably I would say like two and a half kilos, maybe two, just on, around two kilos of chopped beef with its own marinade in it and stuff like that. Um, we've also got some spinach. What else do we have? Um, some chopped asparagus because we had a spare, I guess. <laughs> um, what else was there? Yeah, that was pretty much it. Actually, I might add some salt on the top. No, actually, no. We'll keep the salt out for now. I'll add salt, salt as it cooks. But yeah. I think that will do for that. Now I'll just film myself saying goodbye. So yeah, it was a short one today. 46 minutes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can do. Um, yeah. Oh, right. Don't forget. Lid on. And when you chuck these lids on as well, I should probably mention that try and make sure it's nice and even and there's not much gaps in here because you want that. It's got a bit of a wobble, but I think that's part of the. Yeah, see, that's good. Turn a lid until there isn't that wobble. And you can pour water along these bits as well on the outside and that'll create more of a vacuum. Because this will take quite a long time to heat up now, because we're only doing it on low. Um, you can put it on high. Um, I, I would say like six hours is probably like your standard on high. And then, you know, like mix every three hours. I usually mix like every four hours if I'm doing this, because I'll be doing this on low for eight to 12 maybe even 14 if I fall asleep but that's okay because I'll wake up tomorrow and it'll be nice and nice and thick and yummy and good um, yeah alrighty let's check the result so I've left this actually for over 12 hours and the last couple I opened a little little bit just to get some of that extra liquid out okay so yeah, it's actually come out really nice. Nice and mixed. And the meat's pretty tender. Alrighty. But yeah, that concludes cooking in a slow cooker. Big beef stew. Catch you later.